Let's see what we got, Rakes. It's my daughter. Yeah. It's daughter versus everything, they say. She's really eager to, to say things that you guys can hear. So, like, can I talk? Can I say things? Will they hear me? Girl. Is cooking in the, in the offering? I don't know. I don't know what's in here. Like, there could be a bomb. Be just filled with glitter. Race could have sent me one of his cats. I have no idea. Open up. There's nacho cheese and ice cream in this. Scissors aren't great. Ugh, pretty vicious move. He wouldn't send me one of the cats. He would send me a bomb before he'd send me a cat. Oh, there's a... There's a hair taped to this. Is that Rakes' hair? Rakes, we can clone you. It's all serious. I can clone a Rakes. I think we have enough Rakes's hair or hair yeah the kind that goes on your head not the animal all right what do we got here we got 100 percent great british potatoes walkers beef and onion <laughs> probably your cats we got 100 percent great british potatoes worcestershire sauce or as i call it the worcestershire sauce that isn't a real potato. <laughs> this one's interesting. Prawn cocktail. You notice how the Walkers thing looks like the Lay's logo? Like a more active version of Lay's, yeah. <laughs> Lay's Walkers. I'm gonna make a new chip line called Sprint. No, that's a phone company. We'll have to be runners or something. You guys wanna get on the ground floor of runners? We got, oh no. We got Marmite chips. Prawn cocktail is your favorite. Lay's and Walker's. Both owned by PepsiCo. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and try them. Got prawn chips and duck. Marmites. We got some paper all the way from Canada. Oh, there's some more cat hair. No wonder the cats like this box so much. Breaks. My cat, our cats would not leave the box alone. What else we got? We got some seasoning. <laughs> what is this? Uh, mixvur. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it looks like meat seasoning. Marathoners. Right. More paper. Curly Whirly. Cocoa. Curly Whirly Cocoa Life. Dutch meatball seasoning. Gotcha. Air made it through customs. Don't like animal. Products coming over. Ha ha. Oh, there's StarCraft music in the background still? Is it too loud? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I can mute it. Let me know. Sounds... Mm, yep. Can't can't read as much as I usually do, just in case. Cadbury Coco Life Curly Whirlies. Music's fine. All right, cool. And then... So... Uh, Rick, once I, you told me that there was liquid in there too, and I told my wife, she's like, that's what I heard. That's, that's why it sounded like liquid when I moved the box. Here's another, I'm gonna open yours too, Ted. Ooh, uh, hey, did you have milk in this previously? <laughs> Is this one of those Canadian milk bags? I'm just kidding. Do the haha. Haha. Don't be inching over here. How do they see me? Uh, I just tell them what I look like and they just imagine me. You don't believe me? Alright. Is this how you drink is this how you drink sodas, Ricks? <laughs> this is a Canadian koozie. They're as cool as Rakes is. The Canadian koozie. Alright, let's open this. Man, this is really packed nice. Breaks. Thank you for the gifts. I'm gonna try them all. Well, you don't. You don't have to imagine too hard, then, right? 
Trying to protect the cans. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just joking with you. It's good. Quick, someone ba ban Phoenix. And also, count me out. Ban count me out. Is there, is there any super mods around? So use a foreign package with a parent sealed tubules and no government agency intervenes. That's a good point. Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't usually like flowery tasting things. We're gonna try it. Your lurker mod, not the same. Quick, make me a mod. Dandelion. Hmm. My daughter's getting more excited than I am to try stuff. She's just off camera. Giggling. Murray's childhood, really? It's like black li licorice, but actually good. My wife likes black licorice a little bit. My daughter does not. There's claws at the door. Santa? No. All right, last thing. Now you know my daughter has hands. Hey, get your hands out of the camera. They say otherwise. Hey, what, black licorice? Uh, the last one is bitter shandy. It has a dog on it, so I suppose it tastes like dog meat. Wait, what? So we got dog meat soda. Hearing the giggles, so funny. All right, what 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 should I try first, Rakes? Oh, let me. Well, Rakes is telling me. Let's open uh, Tet's gift. Tet, hang on. I'm gonna do the. Uh, some some people might. No, I don't. I don't have a joke prepared. There's a disembodied ghost on stream. Oh, the shadows. It's, uh, Demon Souls. Can you let the claws in? Didn't notice. His best memory is being 10 years old, really. A, the only from software game that I have yet to play. It's a video game, yeah. Tet, thank you for Demon Souls. I've been meaning to play this forever. I'm blind to it. Can you believe it? No one ruined this game. I've been blind. Somehow I've stayed blind to this, even though it's been out for like 300 years. Let's see. Copyright Night. Oh, really? So I'm going to play that. Thank you, Tet. I appreciate it. My daughter's let me know that I'm exaggerating. If anyone was wondering. And it's still sealed. Man, Mr. Grumpy Monkey would like to get his hands on that. Thank you, Tet. I appreciate it. 297 years? Oh, my bad. It's amazing, Igni. Looking forward to it. Marmite crisps because people either love or hate Marmite. No in between. All right. Marmite crisps. No, I even streams that. Hi, Dan Minch. Welcome back. Scorpios, good to see you. How you doing, Scorpios? Roving in presents and eating things and playing nostalgic games. That smells like something familiar. Yeah, can you be patient? It smells like something familiar. Sniff that. Got it, it's good. I've never had Marmite. It smells like a bouillon cube. It smells like a beef bouillon cube. Like dark bread. It smells like one of those beef broth cubes, you know? Hey, Kira, welcome in. How you doing, Kira? For a New Year's E.T. gift for you? Oh, man. I actually played the E.T. on uh, Atari, and it was terrible. I walked it. I fell into a pit, and then I stretched my neck for about two hours in that pit, and then I quit playing E.T. forever. Look, it doesn't smell like Jim Town. Asking a nine-year-old to be patient. I don't know. Can I smell it? Can I smell it? Just send her back today. All right. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. All right. Here we go. So young. Didn't realize how bad it was. Find out the source. All right.
we think. It's like really, it's, yeah, it's like a really subtle barbecue or something. It's got like a little, like a really subtle, like beefy taste. My wife says she likes them. Do you like them? My daughter likes them. First chip complete. <laughs> Pickles. All right. One down. What's next, Ricks? The burnt remains of the devil's toe cheese. Vegemite, on the other hand, is a food of the gods. Gods without taste buds, but gods anyway. Some gods are evil. So, Ricks, uh, one of our cats is, like, really interested in this box. He's, like, rubbing his head against it. Processing. Beef and onion. Sounds good. Those, those ones, though... Uh, the Marmite thing, it's very, like, a subtle taste. Stay off camera, please. Well, Gruntwork says, girl on stream. Yeah, stay over where I told you. Don't go by... Stand up over there, please. That way. Right here, child. You're gonna have to leave in a minute if you don't listen to me. Why would I be telling you to face the friggin' wall? <laughs> the mask tape out. Don't go past that. You can face this way. Don't go past that, please. Woo, that's a lot stronger, man. It's like real beef roast. Datum in force. Whoa, that's a lot stronger than the... Hang on, I uh, take off the protective wear for this one. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Uh, eating your chips, Rakes, makes me hot. <laughs> it's been Christmas Eve for 12 minutes. Man, these smell so much stronger. Here, sniff these, wife. Yeah, just, sh just shove your whole he head in it. <coughs> oh, there, smell these. <coughs> see what it's getting hot in here, so eat up all your chips. Well, that's cause me and your mama already sucked all the smell out. Hot and bothered. There you go. No, you don't get any cat. No, kitty, it's my chips. All right, let's go. Hey, GT. How you doing, GT? I don't like these as much. What's this aftertaste? It's all right. It's not like terrible. Hubbing British chips live on stream. That's right. I don't know. I like the Marmite one better. <laughs> Me and your mama already sucked all the smell out. You don't know why, but that's cracking you up. <laughs> My daughter sniffed it. She's like, I don't, I don't smell anything strong at all. What's next, Rakes? We go in prawn or the worst Shire sauce? That aftertaste, it's wet dog. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe. Did you guys hear my daughter farts? <laughs> that was kind of loud. All right. Anyway. Uh, what's next? Our outer worlds you like your whole life is let up to running Spacer's Choice? I think so too. Wet dog aftertaste. The worst Shire next, then prawn. Bars and then soda. Awesome. <laughs> the chips are hitting hard. Man, that onion really got to you. So we got Worcestershire. 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 I call it the worst Shire. Sauce because I don't want to pronounce it. Let there be a mod here to quote that about sucking the smell out. You know who's a mod breaks, and he's here telling me what to eat. So, all right, it's worst Shire time. Daughter versus decorum. Who needs a boy when you have a nine-year-old girl? That's right. 
Yeah, no, it's Worcestershire. And Gruntwork's there, and Phoenix is there, and Count Me Out's there. In fact, I think all the mods are here. <laughs> oh, that smells like opening a bottle of Worcest Worcestershire. Okay, I've never pronounced it how my daughter did. I don't know if you heard that. What's work to do? She could be on an episode of South Park. Worst to do. Daddy, what is work to do? Hey, look, I'm actually lifted their hand too. It's um, it's a sauce we use it. Um, we used it in meatloaf and some other things. Sniff this chip, lady. Yeah. I've let you smell and taste every single time. Why would I not let you do it this time? Here. Playing Warframe heard I was getting rowdy. You say so. Sniff this chip, lady. All right. Eat this chip, lady. Oh, only not yet. Eat this chip, little lady. Man, it smells exactly like the sauce. Like, like literally, like opening one of those bottles of sauce and using it. All right, let's go. Oh, I like this one. This is like salt and vinegar with a hint of steak sauce. This is good. You like it too? This is my daughter's favorite so far. This is good. Do you want... You don't like it? My wife really doesn't like it. My daughter and I really like it. It's like salt and vinegar with uh, with steak sauce. This is awesome. But unlike salt and vinegar, it's good, Rake says. Ha ha ha, I like salt and vinegar. I used to eat salt and vinegar chips when I was little until my lips burned. And then you would need to drink something to, you know, because uh, your mouth was just dying and then it would burn even worse. Good times, delicious. These are good, man. I think like these are the best so far. You know what? I've never looked at a shrimp and been like, I really like shrimp, but I like it better if it was a potato chip. <laughs> Walker's Chris. How do you jump out? Welcome in. You think the prawn ones are the best? Well, let's open them up. Uh, they clipped you farting. <laughs> Thanks, Silver Glue. We have a clip of my daughter farting. Salt and vinegar from your hands. Oh, that's shrimpy. Woo! It's like it's like someone was carrying around like some plain Lay's potato chips on like a pier somewhere, you know? And they like dropped them, and then they just scooped them up with like barnacles or something. And they put them in this bag. <laughs> you made sure it was off camera. Thank you. And we used to put it in Bloody Marys, really. You're glad that you're allergic to fish chips? It's not your thing. I mean, it smells like shrimp. It smells like seafood. <clears throat> like seaweed papers. It's a lot of chips. This is the last bag of the chips. Okay, take a giant sniff and then give it to me so I can eat it. And Cletus, tell us all the ways to prepare shrimp. Shrimp and potatoes. I don't, I don't know. That's all I know. <laughs> Shrimp and potatoes. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp cornbread. All right. Boil shrimp. Shrimp gumbo. Folks, uh, should report it. <clears throat> How long do you have to stay up, jump? Jump out. All right, let's go. Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp stir fry. Shrimp fried rice. That's a really subtle taste. I don't think it tastes as strong as crab rangoon. Yeah, it's like sour cream and onion chips with like a little, uh, a little shrimp taste to it.
My wife says, it's like you eat a sour cream and onion chip, and once in your mouth, you lick a shrimp. Which is your favorite? My wife's favorite. My wife's favorite is the shrimp or the Marmite one. What's your favorite, child? The Worcestershire sauce chip? What's my favorite, too? Chip later. Or for the clip later. Laughs hilarious. Uh, Worcestershire sauce is pronounced Chalmundley or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's... I don't, I don't, I'm no linguist. I ain't no linguist. I ain't no linguini. <laughs> Does your wife lick a lot of shrimp? Don't answer that. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Maybe we should have a conversation after the stream. All right, now it's time for Curly Whirly Cadbury Cocoa Life. Breaks, thank you for the chips. Those are pretty interesting. I'm gonna be sad though that I can't get any of those Worcestershire chips. Whoa, what is this? This is not how I intended, intended. <laughs> this is not how I expected this to be shaped. Hang on. Instance. Hang on. I don't know what I was expecting. It's like a pretzel thing. Like, it's like a bunch of connected pretzels, sort of. Alright. Um, I'm gonna give you a big piece. Here you go. Going online to buy chips? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Alright. Here you go, Chai. I'll start leaning this way. To the border to get some of these. Ketchup chips? Well, yeah, Lay's has ketchup. But yeah, I might have to go online and get some Worcestershire chips. Alright, it's chocolate time. You guys guess has the Worcestershire sauce chips? Oh yeah, yeah, hit me up with the link. Indiana does sound close to Mordor. <laughs> oh, chewy. That's good, what is this? It's, um... What are those, um, chewy things that I get called? Those raisin things? Is that what they're called? R-E-I-S-E-N or something? He warned me. Caramel covered chocolate. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Chocolate covered caramel. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate covered caramel, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove the whole thing in my mouth. That's good. It's better than chips. <laughs> yeah, what I said. That's good, man. Curly Whirly by Cadbury. Yeah, get that quote in there. It's good. That'll never come back to haunt me. I'm gonna shove the whole thing in my mouth. Don't ask. All right, Rex also sent me some seasoning to cook with, so Don't I'm I'm gonna open it and take a lick. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use that. Like this is gonna last forever in my mouth. The burdock dandelion soda first. I'm not gonna let you try the soda right now. You could try it downstairs a little bit. Just a sip, okay? I have a lot of quotes to regret. Worm soda is heinous. <laughs> heinous for your anus. <laughs> this audio is so epic. We have like the StarCraft Terran <clears throat> victory music in the background as I'm eating just random friggin' chips and chocolate. Had Rimzim? It's curry flavored soda pop? No, I haven't. Guys, if you want to send me food, as long weird as it, soda. or weird flavored soda or anything, my P.O. box is in the Discord right now. Um, just if it's if it's perishable, it needs to be sealed completely. 
or else I'm gonna throw it away. But PO box is there. I'll try whatever you send. Still in the StarCraft directory. Oh, it's all right. You only drink your pop warm. Cold pop is heinous. Heinous like your anus. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. That smells like something. <laughs> smells like something. What is that? Can okay, ending of StarCraft? My fingers still smell like shrimp. So it's throwing me off. It's like, that smells kind of fruity and sweet. Dandelions, burdock, just a hint of shrimp. What is that? No, you can't have my worst shire sh sh shrimp chips. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? Smell this before I drink it. Can't ending the Starcraft. You like? Just drink it. Just take your sip. It smells like garbage dumps and shame. Just a hint of prawn. That was close. I tried to combine too many words. Can't be worse than curry soda. Maybe. All right, here we go. <clears throat> like a fine wine. Where's my spitting cup? It tastes so similar or something. What is that? Bike. No, it's like kinda. But you know what it reminds me of? You know when you have like a uh, like an icy or something? Like some kind of slushy thing? And, it, and, you, and you drink like almost all of it and the bottom is just like slightly flavored ice slush. It kind of seems like that. I'm talking to the people on the stream. I'm only talking to my computer. Backwash? Here, do not spill this, please. Just take a sip. I don't know. I don't think I would drink that normally. Duck. Maybe. Spit in the floor and make peasants clean it up? Who's the peasants? Me? I'd have to clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna open the other one. The other one is Ben Shaw's Bitter Shandy. It's softer than it looks. British since 1871. What were they before then? My daughter doesn't like that one. Do you like this one? You might like it better when it's cold. Alright, last thing. Norman. This one has a dog on it, which is kind of concerning. Like, the other one, one of the flavors was dandelion, and it had a dandelion on it. This has a dog on it. The dog pee is bitter? Oh, that's... That almost smells like beer. That has kind of like a little bit of a beer smell to it. Made with British beer. <laughs> Made with British beer. Oh. oh like my mom. That was... Sale all right, wasn't it? Okay, mom. How expired was it? Bitter Shandy is 0.5% alcohol. It's bitter... And lemonade traditionally? Gotcha. So that's where the bitter comes from. Go for it. Who we'll it with lager now? That's what you think? <laughs> I only got a very little sip. Yep. I don't like that flavor. That definitely tastes beerish. <laughs> Shit, has got a beer. I know, bitter shandy. Softer than it looks. How much alcohol? It's very little, isn't it? 
It doesn't taste like alcohol hardly at all. I'm just curious. Let's see. Carbonated water. Beer. 12% beer. Don't like that flavor. It's very beerish. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to let you have it. It's legal for kids in the UK and Canada. Yeah, I'm just not going to let her have it either way. It tastes like dog. Or a noodling right as you raise the can to your lips. Good luck. I didn't surface. Yeah, one second. Child. It, can't, it tastes, yeah, kind of like that. It tastes like watered down beer if the watered down portion is carbonated water. Carbonated watered down beer. Too bad, 2%. Oh, it is 5% alcohol. <clears throat> All right. Beer and lemonade is a shandy. So I didn't like either of the sodas, but I appreciate it, Rakes. They will get drank. Not kids on stream. There's a cat. Get away from my chips, cat. I know, they smell like shrimp. Um, but no, I liked everything else. Um, I think if I had to rank them... All right, let's do this. I'm a, I'm a YouTube taste test. Get away from my chips. Taste tester. All right. At, you were a taste tester. Cat, a shrimp chip. He'll just lick it and leave it. All right. Uh, the worst chip. The worst of the four. Beef and onion. As it went by my face, I did not like the smell again. Do, do not recommend. We'll still eat it, though. <clears throat> For me, number three, Marmite, which I thought was fine. It was like a, it was like a hint of barbecue. Let the cat be the judge. Put all four chips down. <laughs> number two, prawn. Or like we said, it's like eating a sour cream and onion chip and then licking a shrimp but way less fun. And then I like these the best. I might have to uh, order some of those. When that master daughter up to you. Yeah, that fart. Marmite paste is so good on toast. Liter water. Marmite is in smoke. Um, yeah, yeah, it has a little bit of a smoky taste, like kind of a smoky aftertaste. Number one. Yeah, I know. She really didn't like that one. Uh, I believe in the mod daughter judge. All dressed chip, or chips is a Canadian flavor that you think would beat them all. Beef and onion, under Marmite, under prawn, under Worcestershire, yeah. For you, you like the prawn best, then beef and onion, then Marmite, and Worcestershire. So yours is, uh, yeah, so yours is a lot different than mine. Interesting, aside from the prawn one, it seems like we all like that one. All right, uh, I'm gonna tell my daughter goodnight, and we'll be, I'll be right back, and then we'll play for the rest of the night. Ranks, thank you again for the gifts. It was fun, and uh, they will get consumed. Um, you did So, what all do you use the seasoning for? Do you just use this for meatballs, or like any kind of beef, or what do you... Rose is dead. So my patience? Oh, it's okay. She's okay. Aw, oh, that and a bag of, ch of chips. I don't know why I keep almost pronouncing chips. Thank you, Rakes. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for sending that. Uh, I know it wasn't it wasn't cheap either, right? Because uh, it's international. So thank you for sending that. Uh, man, those chocolates are good too. The chocolates are good. Let me close the other ones. Be wild is good on a steak or in a roast. Gotcha. Maybe I'll try uh, some like instant pot meatballs with them. Cool break. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. And Tet, thank you again for the game, man. I've been looking forward to playing that game for a very long time. Um, so when we were doing the stream test, I uh, got on Sekiro for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something. I was like, God, I want to play one of these games again. I need to play a From Software game. It's been too long. Now I have one that I can play through blindly. If I play through blindly, I might have to do a follower or sub-only mode for the first time in a long time. Because it's so spoilable, but. One pound of meatballs. Gotta use about half the pack seasoning. That helps. Okay. 
So a pound of meatballs, about half a bag. All right, good to know. I might ask you again, but all right. I have just random chips everywhere. That was pretty cool. Thank you guys. Call them crisps. It's true. All that in a bag of what? <laughs>Hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and a comment below you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button it helps out a ton and after all of that be sure to check out the next video right up here of course as always thank you guys for watching